guys it's miss key um i wanted to make this video on garden paws because i have seen a lot of, of people play it even people like soda popping and stuff um which is pretty cool you know um the game is really nice and excuse my phone i forgot to unplug it but anyway um and a lot of people ask questions you know like how to make money in the beginning of the game and i talk about it in some of my live streams but um let me show you guys quick um this is winter i think i'm in my third or fourth year and i really want to just water these because i don't want them to die Um, yeah, I have a lot of plans. Um, uh, well, yeah, well, plans, but I do have a lot of uh, well, let me do it this out of this way. I do have a lot of energy, I have 140. But it's because I have everything upgraded. I basically finished all the content that the devs have out so far. And they're doing an amazing job for three devs. It's a three-man dev team. Um, it's Dan, Christina, and I think Toga, Toga, or something like that. His name is pronounced. Um, so it, it's a lot of content that they have into the game so far. All right. So when you're a newbie, this is my little workshop that I built um something to know when you when you start building the more structures you have or the bigger or taller the structure is is the more lag the game would have and it's the longer it's going to take to save so i didn't want anything too big i just have my little planting area there and then i put my workshop up here and that's basically it uh down below is where I store all my food and if I need to cook fish I'll cook fish but I do have uh, let me show you guys quick I do have a lot of fish so I don't really have to cook and that's from doing one of the classes I all that fish. I'm with the amount of energy I have I don't use it all right so this is what you need to do um, you need to grab these they don't take any energy so even if you're out of energy for a day um it's not going to take any any energy it's something to do so you wouldn't be bored or just go to bed early um it do have achievements for going to bed early it do have achievements for passing out in the world a certain number of times i can't really recall what is what um like what you unlock at what time and, and stuff like that. It's just something you'll have to experiment in your gameplay. So when you gather that fiber, um, you click on the crafting menu and you go down to paper. Paper sells for 51 coins and it takes 10 fiber. So you wouldn't have any use for paper in the earlies. Um, is after you unlock the flower shop, then you would have purpose for paper. Um, all right, when you unlock the flower shop, you will be able to make this flower workbench, and you continue doing Elizabeth quests. Um, you would be able to get all these different bouquets. And they sell for a lot. The most expensive is the frosted lavender. Um, it sells for seven sixty, and I think then just the regular lavender sells for seven ten. So you know they have different prices. So you could afford to make a lot of money, as you see that my money, and that's just me getting on ever so often. Now another big thing that I've um, been seeing people asking is. Um, the stars let me um let me just on and you hold shift 
and um, let's click and drag in order to split in half and then split like what I just did. Um, when you get your first, um, when you catch your first fallen star, sorry, it comes down at 22, um, I would say 2200 every night and I, normally what i do i'll just run up um if i'm next to the the house or wherever i'll try to go up high and i'll just watch it come down and see where it falls and then run towards it and get it um you take the the fallen star once you catch your first fallen star this is gonna pop up uh it in the work it might be in the workbench. Let me run to the workbench. Look at here, the Stardust. But it calls for Stardust, Silver Ore, and Wooden Boards. Everyone should know Wooden Boards as you just make it with the regular wood. All right, silver and then status. So how you get status and silver is this way. All right, I'm gonna run into town and show you guys um, now. Uh, what happened here? Take this with me. All right, those are called geodes. I think it's called. It's pronounced. Um. and you go to frank and the first upgrade you get that the tongue asks for is the blacksmith and once you get the blacksmith unlock i don't know what this golden poop is for um i don't think it's been implemented into the game as yet but with the last update that they had with the pet shop um let me up let me up they it it started showing up so normally i just run and i'll pick the eggs feathers and the golden poop stuff up um i don't pick up the regular poop due to i have enough with the animals i have and i as i said i have done everything within the game i don't have anything else to do other than just make money until the new content come out at the end of january um so this is what a full build tongue looks like and this is the blacksmith guy right valorant i guess that's how they pronounce it um so you put the the star in your hotbar select it and you walk up to the anvil press e and you break it so you see i received um one stardust and one quartz it doesn't have a, a a use for jewelry yet if within the game so um i just stack them for now i could sell them but I, I just choose not to and you get the stardust that you need in order to make the starduster now this geode you get geodes by breaking rocks and you come here and you break it the same way but i'll go all out of that one and I got silver also the other one right so I got my gold and my silver now it's not going to be that easy all the time some of the rocks when you break them you do get stone right um this cave this cave is on lock for anyone uh when when the game starts this is the main cave that's unlocked and when you break some of these rocks you're gonna get geodes but more look for these that look kind of discolored i don't know if you guys could see it then um i did ask the devs in suggestion and feedback to make a light that hangs like the satchel uh so you can still use tools while um you know while the light is on and for me as well as making content having a light when sometimes within the game is really better so 
say I got the two geodes and you do the same thing, you take it back, you break it and you'll get whatever out of it, either silver, gold or stone. Uh, let me collect this as I go. The chest up here. Okay, the chest up there. Another thing a lot of people can't find is the miners. Well, this is Frank. You'll be visiting Frank a lot. Make it up here. And this is where the miners camp is. Right, this is John Stone and Stephen. They are the two miners. Because a lot of people can't find them because, you know, you don't really look up within the game. I like collecting these flowers for during the seasons because most of the most of the dailies that comes up on the bulletin board most of them are the regular flowers um again this is what a fully built up town is this is Clovis and Boris their brothers um this flash is the costume shop uh this one is sadie a lot of people ask for sadie um she's the innkeeper uh well that's the mayor over there um this is elizabeth she's the flower shop lady um uh, access oops, she's the flower shop lady you could buy you know flowers and she's the one that gives you the bouquets um so this is what a, a fully built town looks like uh this doesn't have anything there yet um i guess they're adding more stuff with more content um i forget what he does uh miller miller runs the wheat farm right miller runs the wheat farm access the shop and we and um james i think james is over here james is the baker these are the shops that you could add into the game. Uh, why can't I access those? No, oh, it's not letting me access. Anyway, um, McCoy, he's the fisherman. And you could buy fish bait and the shell fish bait. Now, uh, you have to upgrade and build his shop. In order for him to, to teach you how to make the fishing traps. Other than that, you just fish with a rod and bait. Um, no, 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 no. I don't want to get stuck. You get stuck on this bridge, so be careful when you're running on it. Does she have the flowers I need? Yes, she Penny was just added into the game. Um, she's a seasonal seller, I guess. Uh, of the different seeds so I normally just buy the frost um, lavender from her and the regular lavender the way I make money now that I don't have all that stuff to worry about is I make the lavender um, bouquets both um, regular and frost lavender Another thing you could do, I have some babies here that I put in a couple days ago, as you can see. Um, you could come here, instead of going to each one by itself, you could come here and you could do this and feed them. Which is pretty cool. I didn't know this. Is my friend um, Tana, he streams as well. Uh, he purchased the game after I started streaming it. He told me he had really enjoyed watching me play it and um and he did that and i didn't know that was something that could have been done so i'm glad that he found that out so i could just throw it in in here today guys i want to do you know that's my you know just a quick um video i have a lot more that i could show you guys but this is like one of the main things um tall grass the tall grass that you find to put in here in this this is called a dryer a drying table 
the tall grass you just use your sickle and you go into the forest maybe i might be able to run there today and show you guys uh get everything done within one day um i'm not to worry about opening up the shop and stuff like that um now okay let me show you how to glitter um how to glitter uh, a skin i have some skin here some skins here where did i put them that i really don't care for the black bunny skin i have you unlock now another cool feature is that you can hit escape and go to customize character and you could switch to a different character i don't have that black bunny unlock me i prefer the fox so that's why i have the fox and i have like these exotic looking skins um the, this glass one and this one i purchased and this one right these all the rest um i think i unlock with quests and um and gathering stuff and you know achievements within the game so go back to this uh let me grab a skin i'll just do the black one because it would look way better black one um all right um this is a star i just put there and I can't get it to move. I think it's because I'm um, up high. So I just put the the starter stable after I create it. Um, I put it here. So you put the skin on your hotbar. You hit E to place the skin. And you'll see the skin while trying to see it. <laughs> then um, you put the status here. You do the thing and you put E to status. And as you'll see, as you see the bar is going across, it's stardust. In. Finish. Press E and you pick it up. Now I have the name of change. It's a black bunny stardusted skin. So I could hit escape or I could leave it in my hotbar and hit E, but I like to do this way. Uh, no, I can't see close to the wall okay but put the bunny and then you hit unlock skin which is this one I just stardust see how it looks that's my black bunny stardusted okay um so now you guys know how to do that. Most of the clothes that I have, I found in chesses within the game. And some of them I purchased. I purchased the, the Christmas stuff because you can't, well, I don't know if you can, but I haven't found any within the game so far. Um, This is a sell fish trap and the fish traps. This is where I put them. Um, one thing to know is if you do get um, soggy paper and you have the barn bill, you could. Um, I should have emptied my. Um, in anyway. You could put the soggy paper in the dryer and it would dry out. So you get paper as well. Um, I think soggy paper sells for like two, two gold coins while as I said um, dry paper sells for 51 now you would hear um, chesses like this under the ground where you can't access it yeah my inventory is full where well, you can't access it but the thing is the, m the majority of times it's a cave and I have the cave unlock as I said before I have um I have everything unlocked within the game. Um 
I wouldn't I wouldn't access it because my inventory is full. And then you get geodes in here that you could break as well to see if you get gold and silver. Because it's go it, you're going to need it later down within game. Um, all right, let's see if we can run. The map is a bit confusing when you first start off, but after you play a couple times, uh, you learn this map in no time. It, you know, I, I know a lot of people ask for a mini map, and the dev said no, but I understand why, because it's, it's really not necessary. Because you learn this map so quick, it's really easy. Um, I've what could I drop? I could drop this out of my inventory. I really don't need that. Um, this is tall grass. So you use your sickle. And you receive tall grass. So this is the tall grass. A lot of people have been looking for this. They, um, this is what they consider the jungle. Right? Um, once you come, you come to Robert's house. This is Robert. He's always on the dock. Um and then out there his wife name is Flo uh, she's an interesting character she gives you a really nice gift when she do her quest pretty cool um, another thing they ask for uh, or they ask a lot is wheat where to find wheat um, it's about to be night time This is where you find wheat. All right, those are this is this little island produce wheat every day. All right. Um, it's right next to the waterfall. So if you don't know the map that well, uh, no, I'm gonna miss a star. If you don't know the map that well, um, make the waterfall your landmark, and you go right here. Mm. Wow, where are you falling? Fall in the water? And I still have no room to pick it up. Where did that fall? I just saw that fall right here. Oh, it's right here. Ah, <laughs> uh, oops. I press you instead of I. Um, that's another thing that, um... A lot of people ask and I personally ask and I would love that they put a song in for the fallen star because it doesn't have one um like how the chesses make sounds oh do this no I didn't do it I want to run over here quick and show you guys Kinda cheat with the um with the glider. Alright, this is where the wanderer is gonna be. And another question is where's the ruins? After you unlock the miners and they cut all those tones down, this is it. You don't really see it. It took me a while to figure out what the hell the ruins was. Because, you know, it just just it just looks like a regular wall. But this is the ruins behind here. and yeah now i'm gonna pass out um these four things is um they are uh how to put it they were like dots on it like one two three four so i just did one two three four and it went down and the big stone door opened and then i went in further and i'm about to pass out and i got the artifacts on top of that circle there all right um this is the house fully upgraded um you could put the cat inside as you see i did it's just the it doesn't poop inside the house which is good but i did went and um catch one again and i put it in the same spot i didn't move the um the habitat or whatever i just take my time slowly and let it follow me and i put it there so um 
I don't know I get like a double poop I guess I don't know if it's from this one um, but I find the cat looks nice in the house even though I am not a fond of, of cats so this is what a, a fully upgraded house looks like um, I stopped decorating because I know they're planning to give you a whole cooking system and stuff and this house is really big for your tiny character it's really tall too for your tiny character like these doors are gigantic but um this is what a fully upgraded house look like so that's the bedroom um or let me show you this this is the this is the wizard clothes the wizard hats and the wizard cape that i got from the spooky island or the halloween island i think in here i have the witch hat and the witch dress I got those from you could purchase them on the spooky island as well and that's about it um, I don't know if I missed anything for starting off I think I show you guys everything that you need to really start off the game and what to focus on the flower shop is your best bet as so I would end my little video here so thank you guys for tuning in don't forget to like comment subscribe and follow me on twitch i do most of my live streams on twitch and it will be nice for you guys to stop by and you know hang out we could chill and chat for a while together um so as usual keep calm and sparkle on and i'll see you guys in the next one bye